Wolves, 12 losses. And we have from the Kettles gym, Tom Kirk, a record of two wins. So far more experience with Carl Todd, but Tom Kirk is here to impress. Early start. And Todd straight away gets on with that low kick. Oh, battering him in as well. Swinging it in, sledgehammer. So far more experienced fighter here on paper. He's got a promoter, Rory Crawford, in his corner as well. With a heavy duty kicks on that lead leg, and he can't keep wearing them like that. He's got to block, right? Simple check. That'll fix his problems. There we go. Yeah, that's better. And once you land one with your shin right in the knee, it makes you think twice about throwing him again for a little while, doesn't it? Do you know, I've never seen Tom Kirk in a boring fight, ever. No. A lot of support for him tonight. It's only round one, and he's taken a lot of low kicks. Tom's tough, though, man. I've seen him get dropped, come back and knock people out. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sure the record is a lot more than what I saw on paper just now, yeah. Todd, one centre of the ring. Tries to lock on a knee. This is a professional K1 kickboxing fight. Very Dutch style, Tom. He is, isn't he? Hands up, sit in the pocket, trade. Very impressed with Carl so far. Very nice style. Lovely low kicks, good hands, tight guard. Yeah, just tease him up with a low kick. Looks like a proper European fighter, doesn't he, for the kickboxing. Proper Dutch style with his bouncing footwork and throwing shots when he gets close. Right hand just trying to find his target. Left knee goes straight up the centre. To get more accurate at the moment, and sweet shots blind sometimes. Oh, right, catches the kick, leg. can't catch him. K1 rolls. Ducking his head down there. Tom in the clinch needs to be careful. Lovely low kick from Kyle. Yeah, he throws him heavy, Todd, doesn't He's he? He's smashing him in. Good kick Good there. Good punch there, rocks him off balance. There's a little percentage of the shot there, though, as well. Right hand landed there by Kyle. Yeah. Straight out, flush across the face. Both these shins are trading. Heavy duty kicks on the leg from both fighters here. Tries a spinning back fist there. And tie out to a very well competed first round. I tell you what, both these guys are well in this bout, aren't they? 100%. I completely agree with you, Danny. They're both landing. I don't know how they're taking the shots they're throwing. The, these guys possess unreal amounts of power. Really do, don't they? If you look on the replay, just what they're throwing, everything is to put you out to sea. Sizzany narrowly missing Tom's face. Even then, catching the teeth, going back to the leg. Catching the teeth, going back to the leg. Yeah. He's peppering away that leg. Can't be catching shots on the K1 rules though, Joe. Yeah, just off balances him now. Where he catches that one. There's the right hand over the top. He throws the knee as well, really matching each other and nullifying Second what they do. Time. One guy throws Round one shot, two. but wears a shot at the same time. It's a tough one for the judges, but a good one for the fans because we want to see well competed there bouts. We go, there we go. Right hand found his target. He's starting to get accurate with his right hand, Kirk. Getting moved back by Todd. Todd just wears that left hand through the middle. They're both wanting to get in the pocket, which is causing the clinch changes. 
No uppercuts or variation of shots in there though, Joe, right? School trip there, I believe. Yeah, good tight punches there. Kirk threw an uppercut there and just mixed up the shots. I think who's going to box, whoever's going to be the most clever with the boxing, the floor's going to do well in this fight. Carl stopped going for that leg now. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, he started to knee, hasn't he? Whether that was an instruction from the corner or not. High kick goes in, now he hammers down on the leg. Back to the leg he goes. Kirk faking up, going down to the leg himself. Todd walking back, but the pattern's uh, changing a little bit, isn't it? Different fight now to round one. Both landing shots. First body shot went in there from Kirk, and we haven't seen a lot of that at all. But both guys have been open for a few body shots as well. Very impressed with Kyle. Very strong character. Kirk rolls under the shot there. Good proper boxing skills as he throws the left, rolls under the shot. Didn't see a big right hand on the end of it, that's all. Back to the leg. Tom's going to be sore in the morning. Yeah, he was the one executing the low kicks early, though, wasn't he? There we go. Down on the leg of Todd again. Holland in a lovely knee then. Well set this fight. This is a good matchup, this one. Middleweight fighters really exchanging now. Everything is thrown with intent. Every single strike these gents are throwing is to put you out to sleep. More boxing knee and low kicks. Now he goes down to the body. Cut. The knee's good on the end as well. Where's a good kick? Big knee goes in from Todd as well in there. Wow, this is a good matchup, Joe. Just the exchanges, it's beautiful to watch. Belly to belly, aren't they? Toe to toe. It's the best good kind action. of fight. Yeah. Best kind of fights are these fights. And they go back to the corners like neither of them have had a glove put on them. They're two very, very tough competitors, these two. Like I said, what these shits are throwing are bombs that would put a lot of people out to sleep with just one of them. Yes. These two are literally standing there like, like nothing's happened. And it just shows how high of a level the fighters are here at the He's checking series. the low kicks, Kirk. He was wearing them early on. He started to check them. And he's learned his lesson. Yeah. Wearing them, throwing them back himself. He got pulled down to knee there, but got himself out of trouble. Good tight guard for both guys. You're going to have to open up the can somehow, you know. No one's giving away any shots for free. They, um, you beat me to it. There's, there's nothing separating the two massive there's, there's, been no, there's, been no there's been no mistakes from either guys, you know? We could be very picky with both of them, but there, there's nothing... It's just a beautiful fight to watch. Both these lads are throwing, they're exchanging. Good. Combat! And that they go for a low kick, rolls in from Todd there. Todd wants to go down to the body, but there's no free shots in this game. Both guys are strong and tight in their guard. It's beautiful violence. Spearing back fist there, all about right hand. Too close. Good right hand. Oh, and again, the right hand free landed there. And then where's one back? That's Turns. good boxing from Kirk. He's starting to land that right hand. The accuracy's gone up here, hasn't it? Definitely. It's a great start to the round by Tom. Carl's still standing, he's still banging with him. Go yeah, back to the body. Low kicks. Beautiful K1. Yeah, this is what the brand's all about. When you watch kickboxing bouts, you want to see people trading. Punches, kicks, and knees like this, belly to belly, toe to toe. Combat Fight Series live on Leapfrog Fight TV. This is the final round of this bout. A 
Todd executes a fantastic couple of low kicks after good hand exchanges. Scoring well. Kyle, Kyle's low kicks for me. I, I don't know why he's, he stopped earlier on now. He, he started doing it again now and it's working for him. He's hit for him, doesn't he? He treads wide of his opponent as well to give him a good scope to land him. Tom, Tom seems to me, uh, uh, from, the, from the body language, he seems worried about the leg. Every time he gets low kicked, his leg's moving. His hands are beautiful. Again, there's that low kick again. Hands are good from Kirk. He wants to knee up the inside. Real toe to toe war. There's one minute of it left as well, which is a shame. Tough one for the judges. Yes. See what I mean there about top, Tom moving when he gets low kicked. Good momentum from Kirk. Energy levels are good from Tom Kirk here. Todd's matching him all the time, though. Accurate boxing from Kirk, though. His hands have got accurate. He's starting to land the right hand as well. Look, the boxing's good. Oh, quincing over a little bit. I don't know whether the, the body's hurt from the body shot that landed well, a minute this ago. this fight was tight. Kirk's just up in the momentum. Heart, courage, determination. And that's what he's putting into the end of the fight. Having his head pulled down to get need off, though. Accurate with the hands. Kyle's still going. He seems to be slowing down slightly now, though. Tom's picking it up. Yeah, here comes Kirk. Hammering punches and kicks in. And I'll tell you what, he's landing shots fluently now. And that into that round could be the difference with these fighters, I'll tell you that now. For, for me, that was a winner of that last round. Yeah. I thought Todd was brilliant as he started off on the low kicks of the fight, but... Tom Kirk just went into a new dimension, didn't he? That third round was almost like he just upped it another gear. Uh, yeah, he did. I think his shots may have been cleaner in the, low, in the earlier rounds as well. But like you seen on the replay, the, the bombs, both of these lads are landing, but for me, that last round, Tom, Tom just stood out. It was a proper toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wasn't it, Joe? Round one and two was, to me, obviously we were calling it, so it was very hard to score at the same time, but that was very, very close rounds. There's the body shots as well, Kenny. I just think the accuracy was with Tom Kirk, but let me tell you something, Carl Todd gave him a war, and this one will go down to judges' scorecards. We're going to hear the decision and learn who's won, just like everyone Ladies back at home. Ladies and gentlemen, after three awesome rounds of K1 action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision on a favour of your winner. In the white corner, Todd!